Welcome back. Previously on Kenton and Habiba, it was all about Nana's move from New York to North Carolina. So this is the movers day. This place is empty so far. Here's Nana. It's a little nervous energy. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. That is a lot of work. That is a lot of work. Look at that. How are they going to sort through all of that? This truck is going like halfway down the road. It doesn't end. If you recall, it was almost two weeks ago. We went for early voting and the kids came up from school. We voted. We voted. How you feel, Boo, after two, lo two hours of yeah, standing in line? Hours. It was nice to have the kids home, even if it was just for one day, literally one day, and then they went back to college. Anyway, after we voted, everyone was hungry, dehydrated, so we decided to get something to eat. here with you but I brought some for it with you in mind well you, you want to eat at the table then oh yeah we do have a dining table yeah, right we, uh, we yeah but we can sit there yeah. so Ooh, you fish. like fish right yay you got fish in <laughs> yeah. yes <laughs> I know you would like that as could be fish look she got a fish <laughs> I'm sharing that with you. And then this Ooh. is jerk. I'll take the head. Yeah, you can have the head. I got oxtail, jerk chicken, and plantain. I don't care. Kareem and Mariam, go ahead. You should drink, drink. Cause oh, you, they're... Need, you need cutlery, but this is the only fork I found. No, so yeah. <laughs> They didn't even have it like properly on the menu, but we asked, do you have Escovich fish? And they did. So you got to know. So over the last couple of weeks, Nana has been unpacking all of her boxes. And then on some evenings, I would come by and help her put away all her dishes. So her kitchen is pretty much set. You won't see it in this video, but her kitchen and her pantry pretty much all put together. But yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> and Nana just found my bathing suit from Cornell. The one where I had the shoulder blade. Wow, look how skinny I was back then, right? Oh my goodness, shoulder blades. Yeah, so there I am in the actual bathing suit back in college. And this one was after college. I just want you to see the confidence. <laughs> Like me, my mom has a lot of old china, and I think they're so pretty. Some of these she acquired from grandma before grandma, her mom, passed away. No, that's when I told him I'm retiring. Oh, okay. Hey, Bashir, we found this box that you left with this note. September 2020. At 5.28 p.m. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> Welcome to your new home, mother. Congratulations. Hope this message finds you well. Wow. Okay. Well, it actually finds me. Right. So <laughs> we're pretty much done with uh, the kitchen boxes. Oh, that glass. Yeah. Glasses or more vases, mother? No, these are glasses and more milk jugs. Wow, but she really did some packing for a whole year or so. Yep. My poor, my poor brother. He started to pack. So now that my mom is here in North Carolina, I've come up with, I guess, a little bit of a schedule where whenever I cook, I try to pack some food for her. Because again, she doesn't have a refrigerator and she's not really wanting to cook <laughs> anyway. So I try to cook and then we drop it off. So I was feeling like shrimp and grits. And so I'm gonna have to clean the shrimp. It's tedious, I hate doing that, but you know, 
you gotta do it because you don't want you know a bunch of crap in your food when it comes to shrimp and it's just best to clean it as thoroughly as possible but once you clean it shrimp is so easy to cook right it just cooks super fast and it's so delicious depending on how you cook it You know, again, reminders. You know, when you work with someone, yeah, you and they have power all this shop. That's why I said people like that don't retire. They're used to being innovators and yeah. developing products. So to the shrimp, I'm also going to be adding some sausage, and this is 100% beef sausage. I really like it. It's a little spicy, maybe too spicy for my mom, I'm not sure, but I know she's going to like the flavor. And again, I'm going to have a lot of shrimp, so we'll see. I actually have a detailed recipe of this dish that I've done before. I guess if you go under the playlist and um, just enter shrimp and grits, Kenton and Habiba, shrimp and grits, it should come up if you're interested because it's a good recipe. <laughs> it's like restaurant style recipe, I'm telling you. Um, so tasty. Mm, nice and creamy, thick. Stew. Delicious, delicious. This is good. Now, when it comes to grits, do you like your grits plain with just like salt and pepper? Or do you like it really savory? I mean, I like it both ways, but today I decided to make it savory so it's cooked with chicken broth, a lot of spice, and also a little bit of cream and butter. And of course, you see I added some scallions. Sometimes I add cheese, but not today. And of course, I'm not gonna forget the vegetables, so I did a side of steamed broccoli. Very simple, just plain broccoli. And that should balance out the spicy shrimp stew. <laughs> So the plastic containers are takeaway containers and they come in pretty handy because I can take the food to her and it stays hot. But then also if she wants to put it in the refrigerator, she can. And it's also microwavable. So that's why I chose to use these containers. And then we just kind of switch out. Where Kenton and I drop off the containers of food and then we pick up the empty containers. And it's been going well so far. So I definitely enjoy doing this for my mom. So this is a few hours later after we've already dropped off the food and I'm back. It's kind of late. I'm really tired. I want to clean the kitchen a little bit. While at my mom's, she gave me this bottle of olive oil. She says it's special. So I don't know. I've never used this version before. I do cook with olive oil and uh, I definitely believe in the health benefits. But apparently this one is polyphenol rich. I got to look that up and it's from Morocco. So yeah, apparently you don't actually cook with it, but you consume it as is. And I got to tell you what it tastes like when I try it. Yeah, olive oil is a lot better for you than obviously vegetable oil or even corn oil or even canola oil. Um, and even coconut oil, which is not always great for you because it's saturated fats. So anyway, tell me what oil do you use when you're trying to be super healthy?
It's a new day, and our family room is looking a lot like a jungle. <laughs> jungle. We've got a lot of our tropical plants indoors because of the cold. Oh, might need to put this back outside for a little bit. Hmm. Good morning, by the way. I forgot to say good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> We're alive. We're alive. We're well. We're doing better. We're not 100%, but we're doing better. <laughs> so. So Bashir's here today. He drove up from New York, uh, but he's sleeping currently, so we're not bothering him. We'll see. It's a cold day today, really cold. It's like sunny, but it's cold. Um, Kenton's studying. Studying and doing work, so yeah. We'll see what we get up to. I don't always paint my nails, but today I thought, why not? It's the weekend, I'm up early, it's bright, even though, like I said, it's pretty cold out there. But a little self-care doesn't hurt, right? Sometimes all you need is a little lipstick, maybe a little makeup, do your nails, and you just feel instantly better. <laughs> it's just the little things. Anyway, I read this quote that says, an empty lantern provides no light. Self-care is the fuel that allows your light to shine brightly. And I don't know who said that, unknown. Also, here's a quote from Nelson Mandela. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. I love that quote. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. Say hi, Bashir. Say hi. Hey, folks. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> So Bashir drove all the way from New York State down to North Carolina. You guys know it's a long trip. He's coming from the mountains. He was exhausted, so Kenton is driving, but he's craving Crackle Barrel. And you know, Crackle Barrel is only found in the South, so that's where we're going to eat. So we're at Crackle Barrel. I haven't been here in a long time, but this is what Bashir was craving. So for those that don't know, Crackle Barrel sells pretty much old-fashioned Southern food, and they also have a gift shop. Can we sell these children? Yeah, they're all for sale. Oh, really? It went up then, yeah. It used to be like There's plenty of tea tables ready. Ah, I just love the store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You like that food? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get distracted looking over here. Yeah, that's about the only reason I like coming in here. Okay, oh, this is salt and pepper. <laughs> Twizzlers. <laughs> I know how huge, right? Just over the top. Over the top. And all the old fashioned candy. I don't know if it was this one, but. Some old fashioned candy, Nana. Some fudge, pecan log. the pecan log, yeah. Oh wow, Bashir, look at this little cabin, or big cabin. Isn't that pretty? Well, nice if it was gingerbread. Right. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
And there's some more owls, like the owl at your house. Right? Yeah, you remember? Yes. That was freakish. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> really heavy, yeah. What's the benefit of that? Oh, they will last a lifetime, literally. Coca-Cola bottles, oh. tiny. Oh, for the tree, right? Yeah. Or your tree. table, salt and pepper. Oh. <laughs> <That's iron. laughs> No, it's plastic. You can't put that on. Oh. I feel it. It's plastic. Because oh. once you take it out, I guess, oh, you want to put it on the table and use the table. Right? Yeah, constantly little girls' clothes. Ooh, fit you. Fit me? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But not my style. Uh, how about some miniature pancakes? Is that... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm always trying to get one big mug. That is giant. Boo, look at that giant mug. That's like a whole teapot in a mug. I, I, I'm down. <laughs> one cup of day. <laughs> one cup of day. But it doesn't say anything like it's from North Carolina though. Let's see. Like it doesn't identify. Turn around. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, paperweight. Be a desk. Yeah. Like a candy thingy, isn't that adorable? It's so cute! You know, when I was in the CVS, this lady was saying to me she loves all this stuff, but she hates having to put it away. Right. Space for storage to put these things that happy about. Right. That's kind of cute too, Mother. Isn't it? The bears and the sleigh? Reminds me of something we had in Nigeria. Used to have the salt and pepper, yeah. So cute. And these are giving me Harry Potter vibes. Mm. Or, of course, mm. Cabin in the Woods, right. I remember when I used to make the gingerbread house. Yeah. When you were kids, we would put them together. Yeah, it was real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Random, isn't it? Yeah. I like the little house. No, lately I've been drawn to little houses. You know, you see a lot of these upstate and they've made them into mailboxes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Literally like mailboxes. It's crazy. It's another owl mug and yeah. owl oh, candy. Is it? It's supposed to like candy. Candy corn. Candy corn, right. Yeah. There you go. Candy corn. Candy corn candle. M&M's. Yeah. M&M's with ice? Thanksgiving edition. Uh, Never seen that before. It's sure a little no one, truck. No one in the city has seen this before. That was not bad. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> All right, table's ready. Six out. Mm. Mm. Next couple quarters. Yeah. No, I don't know if they're recession or I mean, no, stagnation. Yeah, the chicken fried chicken with the sunny eggs. That's yeah. you. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Man, you know, steak ketchup? No, it wasn't. You better eat up before it gets 
side of broccoli, and then the side of broccoli also with the ingredients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hot sauce. Hot sauce as well? Yeah. Overall, we had a pretty good meal. Definitely not something I would want to eat too frequently. You will put on a lot of weight if you eat like that all the time. Anyway, we had lots of leftovers and we headed home. Last time I looked at them, they were 125. And I, I think it was even documents. Wow. Yeah. Oh, now it's 2.39. Just look outside at the treetops. Look outside at the treetops. I don't know, can you see that wind? Okay, this is Nana's gym slash plant room. You know, there's her thread mill that's up here. There's that window I came out to at night or sliding door. Just look how high the snow is just look at that like you can't actually open the door without snow coming through it's still coming down so this is not conditions to go um what is it to go dig up snow or to clear the snow because the snow is still actively coming down and so is the wind you see the gush as soon as you try to move the snow it's going to just be redistributed everywhere else and this is the view from the top floor as you can see, everyone, if you look out through the window, everyone's garbage has been snowed in for the last two days. I guess garbage was supposed to be picked up two days ago, but because, um, again, of the snowstorm, the garbage people or the plows will be focused on snow removal and not garbage removal in terms of all the equipment. Plus, it just makes it very difficult to pick up garbage you know when the roads are completely covered um, it does look like there has been some snow removal from the road you can see uh, but again because it's still coming down it's a challenge oh lord is this fun is this fun yet I gotta oh. Also does the neighbors. Oh my god. Look, point, point the chute this way. You see the handle? Yeah, turn it to make the snow, because you're, you're making the snow pile up. T turn it this way. No, no, turn it this way. No, you, look, it's point, you can see where it's pointing. Wherever you point it, it's gonna go. So you don't want it to block the, you want it to come this way. Right. Sometimes you got to try things at least once. But let me tell you, this is enough for me, okay? My hands are freezing. My toes are freezing. I can barely feel them. This machine is loud. I'm struggling. <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot. I'm gonna go get the um the shovel. It's 
funny how this is so clean, like no snow hit over here. Of course, just before we're leaving, we had to get the big hurrah from nature. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. okay, at this point, it's just gonna have to be manual. Oh, okay. So how you turn it off? Some serious work. Oh my goodness. My hands are cold, but uh, yeah, I had, that's why I had to go inside and take a break. I don't know how you do it. It's just I've never actually had to do it. See? Yeah, I was saying that on the thing. I was my sister did manual labor. <laughs> sister did manual labor, right. I've been spoiled. Be like, what the hell? I know. <laughs> I'd be like, Kenton, I could do a lot more than you think. Yep. It's a major workout, major cardio. You can't have a weak heart to this. You burn a lot of calories. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. All of that shoveling snow which I barely did. I barely lifted the shovel and did a little bit. I'm pooped. I really don't know how Bashir does it. I don't know how Bashir or any of the people that have to shovel snow. Me, I didn't come to America to suffer like this. No, I did not come to America to suffer like this. So no, I will never stay in a place that is snowing like that and I don't have somebody hired to do it for me. That's why I have a husband. So for those of you that think I live a good life and I don't know what hard work is, you are wrong, but you are also right. <laughs> I have worked hard in my life, seriously, but I don't do manual labor. That's just, that, 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 that. it's not for me. Now you're probably thinking, you spoiled little B-I-T-C-H. Not everybody has it good like you. I get that. I get that, but I'm just telling you, these hands of mine were not built for manual labor. This body that you are looking at was not built for shoveling snow. I'm just telling you, and it's also a reminder to myself the next time I say, oh, we're going to move to New York City. Well, you know what? Seriously though, seriously, as I move in and out of accents, I love New York City. I absolutely love New York City. And if I did come back, I would live in an apartment or in a space where I don't have to worry about, you know, shoveling snow or stuff like that. Um, if you live in a private home or a large home or, you know, a detached home or in a neighborhood and you're a homeowner, you are responsible for your sidewalk, sidewalks and all of that. But that's not how I see myself coming back. Um, been there, done that, you know, lived upstate New York, owned a home, did all that or really Kenton did. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. Anyway, I just got to say it is a lot of hard work and kudos to my brother for holding it down and to all the men out there or even all the single women do who don't have a choice and have to do it. Wow. 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 Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday or week ahead. Bye. Really? Really?